Mary had a little lamb. Her father shot it dead. And each day it went to school with her between two slabs of bread. Hi, my name's Andrew. And today we're gonna wreck a lamb rack. Raps. Welcome back to Wrecker, people. I hope that you're enjoying the channel. Uh, today we have a sumptuous treat for you that maybe you've never had. A lot of Americans tend to stick to, you know, beef or, or pork and things like that. Where I come from, lamb is a premier cut. And we have here some New Zealand lamb, and we're in Southern California. People, they don't buy the sheep from the local sheep herder anymore. They go online. And I want to actually give a shout out to all of the New Zealanders and the Australians that are stuck at home. I just want to let you know this recipe that we're going to do today, simple home comfort food, is dedicated to you. Keep the faith, stay strong, and let's get our countries back. Freedom. So let's run through our simple ingredients for this very simple and yet very tasty meal. I have here a rack of lamb ribs. I have some freshly picked rosemary, a fresh lemon, some olive oil, I have some white truffle oil. Here is some of the rosemary salt that we made in a previous episode. I have half a cup of butter. I have a whole garlic, we're gonna use part of it. And I have a couple of solid cupfuls of fingerling potatoes. Let's get going. Taking our garlic, literally gonna bust open a couple of cloves. Taking my wooden spoon, here's a different technique. Handle, gonna lean on the, lean on the garlic. We just want to remove the Christmas wrapping. Taking garlic mincer, using the back of my knife, bringing that into the pan. Now this is going to both flavor and season both the lamb and the potatoes. You're trying to get that two for one special at McDonald's too, baby. Taking some olive oil now, we're just going to evenly distribute that through the pan. Want to make sure that we have good coverage of that oil. And then taking some of our freshly picked rosemary, just chopping it up a little bit. I want to break all those oils out of the back of these leaves. I'm gonna set that in there. It's gonna to start to smell amazing. It's smelling amazing right now before we even put any heat on it. Next, we're gonna take a pinch of our rosemary garlic salt. It's gonna season the bottom of the pan. Now let's go stick this to preheat in the grill that I've got coming up to temperature with some amazing hickory charcoal. The beauty about this dish is it's super simple and yet you have an amazing, very impressive and very satisfying meal. We're gonna take some olive oil and these are pre-washed. So a little bit lazy, but also pretty smart. I'm just gonna get some oil. I wanna get that all over these fingerling potatoes. Now the idea is that we are going to sear the lamb rack in the skillet first and then put it over on the actual grill rack. And then following, we'll be putting these potatoes into the skillet, which we have preheating right now. We also wanna take our truffle oil and I'm gonna put half of it in now and I'm gonna put the other half when we're finishing it off just to bring some epic flavor into those potatoes as they cook off. We're also going to be just putting some whole segments of rosemary. I'm just simply gonna break these off with my fingers. Now let's move quickly because our skillet's heating up. I don't want all of that garlic to burn. So I'm simply gonna take some of this rosemary salt and I'm just going to rub that in. That's why creating dishes like pre-seasoning the salt and. You know, it just makes dishes like this amazing because you can bring all of that flavor and embed it into a dish like this with not a whole lot of effort. Now, I'm also going to add a little bit of lemon zest just because. And I'm going to whack this stick of butter in half. Now let's go back out to the grill. See that? See, it's right at the perfect point where it's not blackened, but it's starting to caramelize. Yeah, that's it, ticket. And you don't want to put the butter in at the beginning because otherwise it'll brown off too quickly. We don't want that. Let's just let this start to work its magic. Let's get busy. We're going to take our lamb. Lamb. And we're going to begin to sear that. So I'm going to take this now. I'm just going to set it on the direct heat. And while we're doing that, we're going to take the rest of our butter. We're going to let that start to come up to temperature. We're going to add all that amazing flavor from those potatoes. See what we got there. See, I got a perfect grill sear, perfect 90 degrees. 
So the meat is denser down the bottom and it's thinner up the top. I'm leaning the top of the ribs up against my skillet so that the thicker parts of the meat are down lower and I'm not overcooking this top section. So it's gonna take some of our potatoes, well all of them actually, we're just gonna lay that on the cloth. All that amazing flavor soaked up into them. And I'm gonna take this, just searing it off in all of that gorgeous butter. But at the same time infusing all that amazing flavor that the potatoes have been cooking in. Taking our lamb out of the butter that's been cooking in, you can just hear that sizzling, it's just amazing. I'm just gonna leave that now to rest. And you'll see here, if you remember, we made some mint pesto butter when I made the pinwheel lamb amazingness. So we're gonna use that. You can see our beautiful potatoes that are just absolutely gorgeous. Gonna add some more salt over that. I'm gonna rest this for five to 10 minutes and then I'm gonna slice it into what I call meat lollipops. I see you, ba, ba. Coming back round to our, essentially it's like a ribeye, or this is like the tomahawk, if you will. Now, this is, this is the flap that's coming down here, so I'm actually gonna remove this. And we're now just going to divide these down along the meat line. Oh my gosh, look at that, perfect medium rare. Ooh, which is exactly how you want lamb. If you grill it to kill it, you just shouldn't have lamb. Yes, in my expert opinion, uh, that, that sheep is dead. You wanna actually have levels of medium rare in there. If you want to actually get a little bit more cooked through, you're not a medium rare person, take it back out on the grill and just give it a real quick searing on either side. Now remember, we have our pieces of mint pesto here. Our last part of our truffle, white truffle oil, and I'm literally just gonna fully send that all over those potatoes. Plating. This is gonna be really simple. It's a phenomenal meal, whether you're cooking for yourself or you're cooking for a group of friends. Let's bring this together. Look at this. Now, now comes the magic. Now, as every week, we're going to take one of these and I'm gonna sample it. Just get all of that minty, garlicky goodness. And let's just get that on display. One bite, look at that, perfect medium rare. Mm. Mm. If you haven't tried lamb, you need to try it, especially with these flavors that we've been throwing at it. This is a very tender, flavorful, hydrated, moist piece of meat. It is a delicate, Cut. Lamb carries the flavors so well. It has its own unique flavor. Now let's check out these potatoes. Perfectly cooked. The butter is almost like shallow fried it. You can have, you can taste the flavor of the white truffle, the rosemary, the garlic, and the olive oil. It's all just infused in there. And then there's the salt. We had the onion and garlic salt that we made at a previous, previous week. And this is just a phenomenal, simple, very easy to put together meal. Do you like how I'm using a big knife? That's a knife. Guys, if you've enjoyed this show, if you've enjoyed this recipe, please throw up a comment and a like. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. We're growing the channel and I would sure appreciate it if you posted one of these videos on your social media to let your friends out there know that there is an amazing, crazy, but also awesome food channel called Rekka on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. We have another amazing recipe for you. Have a good one.